Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. Have you ever wanted to type a special character into DaVinci Resolve, but you didn't know how to do it? Maybe a division symbol, maybe a copyright or a patent logo symbol, or maybe something else like a emoji heart or even a smiley face. Today, I'm gonna to quickly show you how to do that. So let's jump right into it, not waste any time. Assuming you've already got DaVinci Resolve open and you have a clip already on your timeline, from the edit tab, go to effects, then titles, and just drag a basic title onto your timeline like I'm showing here. Now, on the far right under the inspector tab and the rich text box, you'll just type one of the alt keyboard sequences right in. For example, if I want a traditional division sign, just hold down the alt key and type 0247. That's it. The same is true for any other special character I want. If I want a registered trademark symbol, again, I hold down the alt key and press 0174. If I want a copyright symbol, it's the Alt key plus 0169. You get the idea. You can even do symbols as well. For example, if I want a heart, I could do the Alt key plus the number three. And of course you can add colors and scale as you want as well. Just make sure that the NumLock key is on if you're using the number keypad on the far right side of your keyboard uh, when you do this. And this works in many other applications as well. You'll notice it works in Microsoft Word, Notepad, and many others. And I'm gonna leave some links down below for more alt codes and characters. The list is pretty extensive, so those links will come in handy later. One quick caveat, I know this works on Windows operating system. I believe there is something similar for Apple iOS, but I haven't actually tested or tried it. On a Mac OS, I believe it's called Unicode Hex Input, where instead of using the Alt key, you use the Option key. I'll put up on the screen here what I found in ChatGPT, but again, I've not had a chance to test this because I'm running Windows on my computer. So my apology for the Apple users. Hopefully this saves you a ton of time. I started looking into this when I ran into this issue myself. And of course you can still copy and paste if that's your thing, that'll work too. If someone does test, this on a Mac OS, please do me a favor. And I'm sure people watching this would appreciate it as well. Let me know if it works or if there's some weird caveat to it, but I'm hoping it's just swapping out the Alt and the Option key. And that's it. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. It's always appreciated. Until next time, take care and we will see you in the next video. See you soon.